I'm excited to show you a couple of things that we released last month in October 2022. Um, both of them have to do with the ability to refresh um, either from Filevine or from Clio. I'm first going to show you the Filevine refresh and I'm just going to go through and create a new record. I'm going to link it to my project. And if I click on a couple of these, you can see I've got my client, I've got insurance. I don't have an adjuster yet. So if I go into Filevine, I'm on my insurance page. Oh, I don't have an adjuster there. So I uh, say I, during the course, I go through and put Mary Penny in there and I save it. Now um, in Nackley, all I have to do is click refresh from Filevine. And you now have Mary Penny there. And so you can go through and have everything updated. If you're working in your um, in Filevine, it's just a matter of you can go through and make any adjustments. You can come back into here, click a refresh, um, and and it will have all your adjustments. Some of you might ask why you require a refresh. Uh, main reason is, is that we want you to have control over when date information comes in because it's possible that maybe you did some, you used an online intake or some other source that you maybe need to write back to the send to file by before you do a refresh. This is a way that you can control what it is that you your information that's coming in so that that can be taken care of. So next one is in Clio, something very similar. So I've got, I'll go into initial email. I'm just going to link it. I'm going to go to the Smithy one and they've got Harry Smithy, Harry H and Harry J. And I decide within Clio, I go through and, hey, I need to make some changes here. I'll just edit the contact. Hurry Henry, save the contact. I've got all that information. I click a refresh. And I go back in and I've got Harry and Smithy. Um, if you are using external interviews, you do that. You pull the information first off. Um, let's just say we want to add another through the process. Uh, let's go, Jen Jones. I'll just get that much information in. So I've added someone in here, but this person. save that let's get it back to the matter uh, isn't listed in here so what I can now do is I can click save to Clio which we've had this feature for a little while uh, for a while but now if I do a refresh and then you will see Jen Jones in there. That's this month's release. Got some exciting things coming up next month along with a webinar. Um, look forward to continuing to improve uh, our Nacrily integrations with other software and make it even better for our users. Thanks.